The U.S. Senate last week approved its version of the 2010 Defense Authorization Act. And as senators near a conference on the bill with House lawmakers, business and labor interests here on Guam are eyeing an amendment attached to the House version that would require contractors to pay prevailing Hawaiian wages to workers on projects linked to the pending military buildup. Proponents of the measure sponsored by Congressman Neil Abercrombie say it will bring more money to Guam and give working families on the island a financial boost at a time when the national economy is struggling. But Bank of Guam economist Joe Bradley says he's crunched the numbers on the Abercrombie Amendment comparing federal data on prevailing wages here and on Hawaii. And his analysis, he says, shows the amendment could cause labor costs to jump dramatically. I'm not able to do a weighted average because I don't know how many job positions are filled within each of these classifications. But just doing an overall average, the um, total compensation in Hawaii is uh, 4.29 times the total compensation for uh, construction workers in Guam. Bradley adds that under federal prevailing wage laws, contractors would also have to pay Hawaiian rates for so-called fringe benefits, and all told, the amendment could double the construction price tag for buildup related projects. But what is perhaps more troubling, he says, is that the economic impact of the Abercrombie amendments could also force labor costs outside the military fences to rise too. The federal projects are going to be in direct competition for construction workers with the civilian community. And even if the uh, prevailing wage rate was only applied to uh, construction on military projects, then how are you going to find a construction worker to work on a civilian project when they can make four times as much on a military project? Meanwhile, Bradley cautioned no leaders here on Guam that unless careful planning is done to address economic conditions long after the military buildup is complete, Guam's economy could go from boom to bust. Stefan Sebastian, PNC News.